You know, it's not every day that a car company manages to surprise both Wall Street and car enthusiasts at the same time. But Rivian just pulled it off in style. They've officially delivered their best quarter ever, crushing expectations across nearly every metric. More deliveries, better profit margins, stronger manufacturing efficiency, and yes, even a brand new twist. Rivian is stepping into the world of AI and robotics with the launch of its new spin-off, Mind Robotics. Because apparently, in 2025, every serious car company also needs a robot division, and Rivian wasn't about to miss the party. But beyond the flashy headlines and investor excitement, there's something much more important happening here. Rivian's latest update gives us a clearer picture of the R2 Launch Edition, the SUV that's expected to make or break Rivian's mainstream future. And the most surprising detail? The Launch Edition won't be the most expensive version. In fact, it's starting with a dual-motor setup, not the tri-motor powerhouse that many, including myself, assumed they'd lead with. When Rivian first unveiled the R2 lineup, they promised three variants, a single-motor entry model, a dual-motor mid-tier, and a tri-motor performance monster. Logically, most of us assumed Rivian would start with the tri-motor, load it up with features, justify a premium price tag, and chase those higher profit margins early on. It's the Tesla Model X playbook, start high, scale down. But no, Rivian flipped the script. The R2 Launch Edition will instead debut with a dual motor configuration, positioned as a balanced middle ground between affordability and performance. It's a surprisingly strategic move when you think about it. Rivian is already familiar with dual motor systems. They've perfected them in their R1 vehicles, which means they can hit the ground running without reinventing the wheel. And that experience gives them something crucial, confidence in consistency. A dual motor R2 isn't experimental. It's a refined version of what they already know how to build and optimize profitably. Rivian confirmed that the R2 Launch Edition will feature a brand new Maximus drive unit, completely different from the motors in their current R1 lineup. This isn't just a small tweak. It's a full redesign aimed at simplifying production while improving efficiency. The dual motor setup will draw power from 4695 battery cells, imported from South Korea for now, but slated for US production by 2027. Those new cells will form a structural battery pack, reducing parts, simplifying assembly, and likely cutting costs significantly. And while Rivian didn't give us exact specs yet, early estimates suggest the launch edition will offer over 300 miles of range, depending on configuration. Not quite the 350 plus mark you'd find on higher end EVs, but still more than respectable. For a performance-oriented electric SUV aimed at the thousand range, Rivian hasn't confirmed official pricing yet, but all signs point toward a starting price around 60000 for the launch edition. That's notably higher than the long-promised 45000 base R2. But there's context here. That base price applies to the future single-motor variant which likely won't arrive until Rivian has fully scaled production and stabilized the supply chain. So while the internet might grumble about the 60K tag, this strategy actually makes business sense. Rivian can target early adopters who value exclusivity, offer launch edition perks like unique colors and interior options, and use that extra cash flow to fund scaling efforts Think of it as the Model Y performance of the lineup. Not the cheapest, but certainly the one that will grab attention. Here's where Rivian's decision gets clever. A dual motor launch edition hits the sweet spot. Cheaper to produce than a tri-motor system. Faster to refine and scale due to existing expertise. More profitable per unit than a single motor model 
and appealing enough to attract buyers who want performance without six-figure price tags. It's a decision that screams maturity. Rivian isn't chasing headlines with overpowered prototypes anymore. They're chasing sustainable growth and profitability. The company has learned that being the cool EV startup isn't enough anymore. Investors want results. Customers want reliability, service, and confidence that their EV brand will actually be around in five years. What's really exciting here is that Rivian is finally proving it can generate better margins quarter after quarter. That's not marketing fluff. It's an essential step toward becoming a profitable automaker, something only Tesla has truly achieved at scale. By focusing on dual motor architecture, Rivian can reduce parts complexity, streamline supply chains, and simplify testing and calibration. And with their new AI and robotic spin-off, they might even be preparing to automate aspects of future production, reducing labor costs while increasing precision. This means the R2 could be the first Rivian model that's truly engineered for scale, not just for enthusiasts, but for the mainstream market. Here's another layer to this story that a lot of people are missing. Rivian, like Tesla, is positioning itself as a software-first company. The R2 will likely come with software-based performance tiers, meaning the same dual-motor hardware could be sold in different configurations, where higher acceleration or premium features are unlocked digitally. Now, as consumers, we might roll our eyes at that. No one loves paying extra to unlock power that's already in the car. But from a business perspective, it's brilliant. Why? Because software revenue has nearly zero production cost. Once you've built it, every additional purchase is pure margin. Investors love that, and it helps Rivian build a more sustainable financial model, one where profits aren't entirely tied to hardware sales. Let's talk about real-world expectations. If Rivian keeps the R2 launch edition focused on efficiency and value, we can probably expect around 300 to 320 miles of range, all-wheel drive by default, and strong mid-range acceleration, but not track-level performance. Charging speeds? Probably still modest. Rivian's R1 vehicles have struggled to keep up with the fastest charging EVs on the market, and the new 4695 cells, while energy dense, may not dramatically improve cooling or charge curves yet. But honestly, that's fine. Rivian seems to be prioritizing reliability, profit margins, and consistent production over headline-grabbing specs, a wise move for long-term stability. Rivian's announcement of Mind Robotics is more than a gimmick. It's part of a larger shift where automakers are rebranding as tech and AI companies. Tesla did it first with self-driving. Now Rivian's signaling that it's not just a car maker, it's an innovation company. The R2 might be their first true platform to integrate advanced driver assist systems, autonomous features, and even connected data intelligence. In the future, that could lead to software subscriptions for driver assistance, parking automation, or even AI-enabled diagnostics. If that's the case, Rivian could create multiple recurring revenue streams, all powered by the R2 platform. The R2 isn't just another SUV. It's Rivian's gateway into the global market. The model designed to prove that they can compete head-to-head -head with Tesla, Ford, and Hyundai on scale and price. And if the R2 succeeds, it sets the stage for something even more ambitious. The R3, a smaller, potentially sportier vehicle that could bring Rivian into the true mass market segment. Rivian's long-term plan looks something like this. One, stabilize profits with R2. Two, expand globally. 3. Launch R3 as the affordable EV that completes the lineup. If they can pull this off, especially while maintaining their signature design language, off-road credibility, and software innovation, Rivian could go from a niche American EV brand 
to a global household name. Rivian has confirmed that by early 2026, they'll host an event unveiling the full R2 lineup with complete specs, trims, and pricing. That means we're likely less than a year away from learning. What features the $45 thousand base R2 will actually include? How big the performance gap will be between the single and dual motor versions? And how Rivian will differentiate trims beyond badges and colors? Those details will be critical, especially since Rivian is pitching the R2 as half the price of the R1S, but without feeling like half the car. If they can maintain that premium Rivian experience, great ride quality, beautiful interior design, and solid tech, even at a lower price, then they might have a legitimate hit on their hands. That said, it's not all smooth sailing. Rivian still faces several key challenges before the R2 can become the success it's meant to be. Service network expansion. Many owners still report long wait times for parts and repairs. Production efficiency. Scaling new battery cells and drive units is never easy. Competition, Tesla, Hyundai, and even newcomers like Fisker are all fighting for the same mid-range EV customers. But here's the encouraging part. Rivian knows this. Their leadership isn't pretending it's an overnight win. Every move they've made recently, from cost optimization to AI diversification, shows a level of discipline we didn't always see in early EV startups. They're playing the long game. The R2 launch edition might not be the fastest, cheapest, or flashiest EV out there, but it could very well be the car that secures Rivian's future. By leading with a proven dual motor system, refined software, and smart pricing, Rivian is signaling that it's ready to grow up as a company. It's no longer about hype, it's about execution. And that's something both customers and investors have been waiting to see. So what do you think? Is Rivian making the right move starting with the dual motor launch edition? Would you pay extra for a software unlocked performance mode? Or would you rather wait for the single motor budget version? Either way, it's clear that Rivian is evolving fast. From an ambitious startup to a real force in the electric vehicle world. Their earnings are up, their strategy is tightening, and their future, much like their new drive unit, looks more powerful than ever. And if the R2 delivers on half the promises Rivian's making, this could be the moment we look back on as the true turning point, the quarter where Rivian stopped being promising and started being profitable.